Okay guys, happy Monday when you are, when I'm recording this. How are you all doing? As you see, we already went on a supermarket run. It's afternoon, early afternoon, it's about one o'clock. So the girls already got their school done. We went and got groceries. I'm gonna show you what exactly we got. What we got, we ended up going to Bravo Supermarket and picked up some stuff that I don't normally, am, am not able to normally get or just like the quantities and prices are much better there. So when I get a chance, I try to go out there and get some stuff. But how are you guys all doing? We have so much to catch up on and we will be talking about that a little bit later. I have been on an emotional roller coaster to say the least. As you guys know from the last video, the household had food poisoning. It never actually hit me, but I got hit with like, I don't know, just like an overwhelming sensation of like, just a lot going on, I guess. You know, like mom life, I guess. Homeschool life. I don't know. All of it. Uh, so yeah. Oh, Nyanya also ended up getting um, allergy, like skin allergies. So that was a whole thing too, aside from the food poisoning. That was a whole other adventure. So we'll get more into that. Let me show you what I got in this grocery haul. So let's get started. All right. So we went to Bravo, like I said, and let's start up here. So this is one of the reasons I try to make my way towards Bravo because I cannot get any kind of Dominican longanisa around here. If you guys don't know, it's the best sausage you will ever find in your life. Sorry, Alan, like bochorizo has nothing on longanisa. I am sorry to you guys that like another sausage, but I swear this is the bomb. You need to try that. Maybe I'm biased. I don't know. <laughs> I got this for Alan. He likes his jarritos, so I went ahead and grabbed him one of those. I got some... Italian dressing for and I also just realized that this is leaking. So actually this is gonna go in the trash because We ain't playing those games. Hi Luna her, I'm gonna say hello. I'm gonna have to hurry up because she's probably gonna want me to wait pick her up This one's not leaking. So this one should be safe um, But I got some conchitas black beans some small red beans. These are like little jelly snacks I've never seen these things in my life, but the girls, you know, they always find a way to find something that they're intrigued by so i don't know i'm gonna try they're kind of cute i'm sure they're horrible for you but they're cute some yellow rice in the packets the best yellow rice by the way and a pollo entero like a whole po pollo a whole chicken it was only 3.96 so that was actually pretty cheap so i grabbed one and <laughs> you guys already know how i feel about my pig feet so i grabbed a couple of those those were really cheap out there um i got some mondongo i actually never or menudo i know a lot of people call it menudo um, I never am able to find this in my town. So when I go out there, I try to snag it. It was a little bit pricey, 10 bucks. And this is tripa or like tripe. I don't know if any of you guys would eat that. You're probably like, ew. <laughs> but that's that. I also got some drumsticks. These are my favorite versions of drumsticks. I absolutely adore these. Comes with so many for almost 11 bucks. And they come cut up already. I love that. I actually grabbed two packs of them. And here's some turkey wings cut up very good price too look at that maybe i'll make a soup or something out of that that's my assumption and a ton of ground beef me and alan don't really eat ground beef it's usually ground turkey but the price was really good and i'm like why not maybe i'll make some patelitos one of these days and here's my receipt so we went to bravo and the total came out to just shy of 90 buck garoonies but i think i did pretty good right we did it we did good luna right got some good stuff i think we did really really good she looks happy. Oh, now I need to wash your hands because you're such a meat. Bang, bamo. Alright, I just gave the girls those gummy things. So what do you think? What? Oh, Luna, Nyanya does not like it. Not good, Nyanya? You let me see. Squeeze it up a little bit. Oh my god, it's gummy. That's so bizarre. Mm. Ali, what do you think? Did you like it? You did like it. Mm. Try Ali's red one. Maybe you like the red one. I don't think Luna liked it either. Look, she's over here dropping on the floor. What do you think, Luna? You don't like it? Mm. Ali, I'm gonna take this one. What do you think? She's like, ah, it's high. Sure, she likes it. Is it just a flavor, Nyanya? Maybe we'll try it on. No, we're not opening all of them. That's not how that works. But we could try them tomorrow. How about that? Yeah? <laughs> it's so weird. I didn't taste it. Well, why don't you switch? You want to switch? There you go. Good sisters. Is that okay? 
Yay, now I got more. There you go, perfect. <laughs> Good? Mm -hmm. Much better? Mm -hmm. All right. Can you help me? Good job. Well, Luna's gonna get the last one. Thank you, Luna. I do it on the slow Thank you, baby. All right, close the door. Yay, high five. Good job, baby. Jesus. All right, so the mondongo, or you guys call it like menudo, right? Yeah. Yeah, so the menudo for you is all done. Yeah. Oh yeah, mondongo. Look at that. So good. Oh my God. Did you make some for you? <laughs> what? <laughs> Look at that whole pot. It's such a big pot, what do you mean? <laughs> oh, it's so good. Oh my God, that smell. If you had smell of vision <laughs> this would be, uh, it would be a hit. <laughs> it's so good. Mm, look at that. Oh my God. Mm. I'm so excited. Mm -hmm. with some ajero blanco Ooh. all right anyone who's eating i hope you enjoyed the girls are already over they're there smashing. eating say hi <laughs> <laughs> they're all eating they're actually they're actually having some chicken we picked up some chicken for them because they ain't about that life but just picked up a whole chicken and made it with some ajero blanco some white mm -hmm. rice and he's taking more okay <laughs> i'm judging you i'm judging you i'm just kidding <laughs> all right i'll talk to you guys later hey guys it is currently current day it is tuesday so mm -hmm. when you guys when this goes up hopefully <laughs> it is current day so hi i need to talk to you guys about how i had been feeling oh hold on there you go okay so i need to talk to you guys about how i've been feeling i feel like had you asked me two three days ago it would have been a completely different answer so i feel like i'm finally feeling better not 100% but so much better yesterday was the day that I was actually feeling more of myself mm -hmm. Alan is here because he had gone through all of the feelings with me like he watched how I was reacting he watched how I was feeling and heard my frustrations and everything when I tell you you guys remember from the last video the house had food poisoning and Alan got it first followed by the girls and Luna yeah um as far as me, I don't think I ever got it. I did get like an upset stomach, but like nothing past that. So around that same time, I just started feeling like overwhelmed. Like the world was on top of me. Like every household problem, exterior problem, everything was on my shoulders in that moment. And I have no idea why, like whatsoever. Yeah. Um, I don't know what his thoughts was <laughs> during it. I know I was like venting like there was no tomorrow and he wasn't the only one either. I was venting to like, my best friends my mom like just my brother like dude help me like i need help something is going on i don't feel like myself again it felt like everything was on me like everything so <laughs> so i don't know i do feel much better now i definitely think it was just a extreme level of stress and maybe yeah. just hormones i have no idea like i'm due to get I'm due to get my period any day now, so sorry if TMI, but I think it's just like a, a backup of everything. Like, the house needed to be cleaned, the girls were sick, Alan was sick, um, I had to cook, I had to do the dishes, which is nothing new, those things always happen. Yeah. Um, my weight, my weight started like really getting to me, and I've struggled with my weight since I was a little girl, so this is something like, it, again, I was just being bombarded left and right for some reason by my brain. Just everything was on you. Just yeah. like everything was on your mind all at once. It was it was rough. Like it was really rough there. I don't know if you guys can relate to that. It's almost like nothing was wrong. Like nothing was wrong, but everything was wrong. It was so bizarre. I I don't know. Yeah. It's, I would um he would invite me to like go out, try to see if you could get some like shopping therapy. Maybe it'll make you feel better. I would go out and then I'd come back and 
it would come like yeah. on and off like sometimes i would be totally kind of fine yeah. yeah it was like wave effects sometimes i'd be totally fine and then other times it was like not so much like get me the heck out of here ah. or i need to go take a shower like i need to cool down i need to cool off like my my mind was literally on overload and nothing would fix it i would try like getting up and doing something or i'd try sitting down and not doing anything nothing was working and honestly i don't know what fixed it um yesterday was the first day that i finally started feeling normal like myself so far so good still nothing today again it is current day so it's tuesday when you guys are watching this yeah and i don't know anything yeah. you want to say no it's just uh like see exactly what it is it's just like it's an overwhelming sense of stress what i got her from it um that's it it's kind of hard to say exactly what triggered it there's no real theme behind it that we can pinpoint but, I yeah, think I think the time. I think the biggest thing is too, guys. Like in case any of you guys are dealing with this for whatever reason, or maybe you don't know, like me, you need to make sure you have like a support system. Like you need to have a team behind you that's helping you to like vocalize your opinions. Definitely bring it up because bringing it up helps a lot. It helped yeah. a lot for me. Like crying it out, I cried it out with all of my support team, like all of them, like it was it was a lot and of course like you could you could message me you could um dm me on instagram you guys know you could always reach out to me if it's something that you know maybe you don't want to talk to someone who's in the family i hope you guys aren't going through anything like this yeah. i just mean in general like always feel free to reach out to me i almost feel like it was almost like a quarantine delay like i almost felt like you know how everyone during quarantine was like there's no way that i'm going to be in this house like homeschooling and doing this and doing that for months right and like once they were like a couple months in like some people like were just feeling all of the feelings yeah i feel like i just started feeling that like that's <laughs> maybe I'm, i had a delayed quarantine effect i have no idea but i'm much better now i hope you guys are feeling fantastic and i hope that none of you guys are going through what i have been experiencing and hopefully i'm done with at this point like even some of my plants have died during this time like yeah. i have paid no attention to like anything the kids are good thank god mm -hmm. like my energy and effort was just not able to go to everything at the moment like the house was a mess there for a while thank alan you. was yeah. doing the dishes not that he doesn't but he was doing them more frequently because he could just tell like i i yes. needed help i had like three mountains of laundry to put away <laughs> he helped me with that yesterday and the girls so that was nice yeah, big help yeah man I, again i don't know what it was i don't know if we'll come back i have no idea but i think the biggest thing for anyone who may be on anything in general is just communication nice to just be true to yourself try to understand try to you know look inward and try to talk to your support team nice that, that makes a big difference and don't think you have to do it you have to suffer through it alone um, you know, if, if you had no one near you, like I said, there are a lot of great resources online, mm -hmm. um, a lot of programs out there that you can find somebody to talk to. I wasn't okay, but I will, I will definitely started feeling okay now. So there is a light. There's mm -hmm. always a light. There's mm -hmm. always an out. There's always a way of like getting your emotions back into order. It just oh, takes yeah. time. You just need to work progressively, um, and intentionally to make yourself feel better. Mm -hmm. So yeah yeah we're in there it's like, I, think you're getting, I think you're getting there yeah wow. i think one day at a time yeah for sure mm -hmm. so but yeah guys that's all i have for you today i hope you guys enjoyed the video i didn't do too crazy amount but i wanted to keep you guys up to date with how i've been feeling i'm much better thank you so much for anyone who reached out and yeah i just highly appreciate it and i hope you guys take care of yourselves i will catch you in the next video so thumbs up subscribe you know all the good stuff and don't forget to stay happy, stay safe, and enjoy the rest of your day because after it's no one else's and it's uniquely yours. Bye, Bye guys.